Hi everyone, hi subscribers, it's Sloan Rhodes here with your Spiritual Self Mastery Class Ego and Heart for the week of December 10th, 2018. I usually release these on Sundays, but I am a day late. Sorry about that. Um, so just to remind everyone, I do have a sale going on 15% off all of my video readings and all of my gift certificates for video readings. The link is below and the code is HOLIDAY2018. And so if you're not ready to have a reading, you can um, use the gift certificate for yourself as well. But it's also a fun gift to give to others if you are looking for a gift. Um, and then just to remind you all, of course, that the readings that I do here on the YouTube channel are also available in audio form only on the audio podcast. There's links below so you can listen to the readings as well as watch them here on the YouTube channel. And also I'm exploring the idea of... Um, doing a video, a weekly video, where I answer questions um, that you can either leave here on the YouTube channel or email me that have to do with ego um, or have to do with how you can explore ego and heart within your own life. Um, I do ask that they be no longer than five sentences, your questions, and um, I'll kind of just go through them. And if I feel that I can be of help in some way, I will answer them here on the YouTube channel. So I'm hoping to start doing that. and. Um, you're welcome to go ahead and email me at, at um, the link below or leave a message here on the YouTube channel of something that you're interested in. This won't be with tarot or oracle cards. I won't be predicting anything or anything like that. I'll just be answering straight questions um, around this idea of the ego, the heart, um, spiritual awakening, spiritual awareness. And again, if I feel I can be of use or can be helpful for you, um, I will select a question and um, address it here. Um, and I'll probably start doing that either this, this month or next month, but you're welcome to leave questions regardless, and I'll keep a, um, a lookout for ones that I feel I can be um, helpful with and maybe provide some clarity with. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the numerology deck today by Michelle Buchanan. Okay, so we have Rebirth. And we have adventure, what we can expect to look forward to regardless. A lot of change energy here. <laughs> right, we have rebirth and we have two fives. Um, quite a bit of change, sometimes circumstances feeling sometimes chaotic, sometimes a welcome um, change. Um, either way, change is here, it looks like. So rebirth. How might the ego look at this and try and distract us um, from the awakening that's occurring in the moment? So with the rebirth, in terms of the egoic energy, it's very simple actually. Um, whenever we uh, are caught up in our ego and we are perpetuating a thought in that moment, we are rebirthing ourselves into the next moment with that same thought. Now this isn't meant to cause you anxiety, it's meant to help you draw awareness to where you can begin to shift patterns in the here and now, as opposed to one day changing your life, right? You can change your life in this moment by changing your experience of the moment, by drawing awareness to the moment, to the beingness of the moment. You are rebirthing yourself um, into new form, let's say, uh, new thought forms in the moment, in the moment, in the moment. This is why it's so important to be able to identify the egoic energy when it comes in because then we don't, we can um, begin to shift away from it and create a new pattern in our lives. So we have this idea of rebirth and this may, so that's on one level, something to think about. It's um, a bit of mastery around that. It's, it's kind of at a, a level that may not resonate yet, but let's look at it on a more practical level. So we have this idea of rebirth. Um, something that you thought was dead coming back in, let's say. Something that you thought was complete arising, right, in a way that is um, different than it was before. It's not the same old thing coming around. The ego might say, same person, you know, same set of circumstances. Um, new day, but same old person, right? Um, no, it's different this time. You have to give it a chance. You have to see it with fresh eyes. The ego will always want to draw you into something that happened in the past where you felt um, either 
anxiety, you felt on guard, you felt unloved, you felt something that was something was lacking, you know, this kind of energy. But here we have this beautiful rebirth occurring, but the ego says, no, it's not the same old thing. You know, I've seen it before. Right? You've seen, you know, those people, I've seen everything. You know, no, you haven't. You've seen everything possibly with the same eyes, but you have an opportunity here to see things with different eyes. And that's what the heart says. The heart says, look, it's it's a new experience. It's a new moment. It doesn't mean that you're like, well, you know, would be the pejorative naive. It means that you are giving things allowance to be different than how you experienced them in the past. Not because the person necessarily is different, but because your experience of the moment is different. When you're feeling more grounded and more um, aware of your eternal nature, let's say, um, or just even more aware of where your thoughts come in, then you are um, seeing the situation or the person differently. There's an opportunity, as I mentioned, within each and every moment to rebirth yourself into a different pattern through your awareness of the moment, the moment. Am I connected to the moment? Am I allowing the moment to be just what it is? Or do I have an overlay of um, the egoic thought structures on top of it? That's very um, limiting and limited. And the heart says, just allow this moment to, re -be, to be reborn <laughs> as it is with a new sense of awareness, with a greater sense of awareness consciousness. And then we have an adventure where we can expect to look forward to regardless. Things being different, right? We have rebirth. Something new arising that you maybe you thought had been um, done. It's not being birthed for the first time, it's a rebirth, a, um, a reincarnation, let's say. And what comes with that is this change, this idea of change, adventure. You know? When you look at it, um, change can be stressful or change can be a new opportunity. <laughs> you know, a new opportunity, a new opportunity each and every moment, a new opportunity. And that is the adventure of life. Sometimes it feels like uh, a bumpier adventure and sometimes it feels like just a joyful adventure but it's an adventure nonetheless but right now it may feel even more like an adventure because we have all this change energy we have rebirth we have change things are definitely shifting and growing and changing um, and it's going to be very very important um, to recognize in the moment where the ego comes in to say it's not it's the same old thing or it's not going to work out this time it didn't work out last time whatever <laughs> you know or this person comes back in same old person or, uh, you know, the, something lands on your desk at work that you thought was done and dusted and it comes back in, there's an opportunity here to approach it differently, to do things differently. An old client comes back, you know, rebirth. And uh, many times the ego will say, oh, I know exactly what this is like. I've seen it a thousand times. This person always does that. Whenever we find ourselves using the languaging of always and never, you know you're in your ego because it's um, very limited. There's no room for expansion or allowance. And the heart says, a new opportunity. Fresh eyes. Allow things to be without the judgment that either you or the circumstance is somehow wrong or should have been done differently the first time. You're hanging on, you know, the the older pattern of it should have been, right? But then the heart says, it is what it is, just as it is right here and right now. It's not always your preference. It's not about right or wrong. It's about it just is, without the overlay of the ego's judgment, good, bad, right, wrong. Yeah. Um, so very interesting uh, cards for the week. I love that there's so much change energy. I actually <laughs> tend to really enjoy change. Um, what feels like change um, and transformation, even though I've had a lot of it <laughs> in my life, uh, seems like fairly recently. Um, but it is an adventure. And whenever we get caught up in the, it's too much, I don't like it, change is hard. It's not that it's hard, it's that our resistance creates the experience of it being hard. Again, it doesn't mean it's always our preference, but when you can surrender to the moment being as it is, allow things to 
reformulate our thoughts, the situation, um, without the judgment, without the need for it to be different than our mind wants it to be, we can accept it, surrender to it, and then, because there's no resistant, resistance to it, we can feel more connected to right action, action that, that comes from within, from a divine sense of self, from you know the sense of right action, because we're not um, responding or reacting in a way that's uh, filled with anxiety from the ego or resistance or, or all of that. And we can just allow things to be the adventure that they are. Um, and we take action because we feel inspired to do so, not because we are trying to get out of the situation or change it, you know. So I hope that that makes sense. So I hope that you enjoyed the reading. I wish you much love as always. Again, if you would like to um, take advantage of the 15% off, there's a link below. All video readings and all gift certificates for video readings. And if anyone is interested in learning more about um, how I might be able to help with any kind of questions regarding the ego or the heart or spirituality, you're welcome to leave a message or to email me. Leave a message here. And um, if I feel that I can be useful or helpful in some way or provide some kind of clarity, I, I will do so uh, as best I can here on the video channel. Um, and that would either, I'll try to start it this month, but if I can't, I'll try and start it next month in January if I feel like that's something that people would like um, and would find helpful. So anyway, I wish you all much love and I'll see you next week.